Hey guys, Ronnie here showing you how to set up your own starter file in Blender. I'll also kind of touch on why it's important and then I'll show you guys how I set mine up. This video is certainly going to be useful to people who don't know how to do this, but even if you've done this already, I think it might be fun to watch because this isn't something that's really talked about a lot. I've, I've never seen people exchanging how they do their startup files, so I'll show you how I would set mine up. If you set your startup file up differently, please share in the comments. I'm sure other people would really learn from it and I would love to see as well. So the main point of this is to save yourself time. For example, if you're always doing one thing every time you open a new Blender file, you want to save that in a startup file so you don't have to keep doing that click. First and foremost, for example, Cycles Render. You're basically always going to be using that, so just save it in your startup file. And to do that, select File and Save Startup File. That's it. So every time you select New and open a new file, that it'll be set to Cycles. So going forward, here's what I would do. I would go into my user preferences, go to system, and select CUDA on my graphics card. I would also go into my input and change how I like to configure my input. I'm not going to go into that here though because it's probably not useful to anybody else. Of course I would select GPU compute in my device. I would select frame rate of 60 because you're probably always going to want to be rendering at 60 FPS, especially at this day and age. You might change your output too. I have mine set up to my other hard drive. Under performance I would set the tile size for my graphics card which would be 256 for me. At least that's what I tested for the best, but that could be wrong. I don't know. Heading over to the scene tab, I would go into color management, view, filmic, look, base contrast. If you don't know what filmic is, real quick, it's just a new color management system introduced in Blender. It's way more accurate than the default, so I would definitely get on board with that. I'd go to my world tab, use nodes, and set up an HDR. So I would click environment texture and then load up your HDR. That way you don't have that ugly gray background. That's it as far as these tabs go. In the scene I would get rid of the lamp because I don't use the lamp ever. I would select the camera, press Alt R, Alt G to reset it, then RX 90 to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees, and then move it back. I like to start my scenes from there. I would add another window here. I would add in the node editor because when you're in cycles you're always going to be working with nodes. And while we have that open, I'm going to head over to the compositing view, use nodes. I'm going to scroll in. I always use a lens distortion and I always use a glare, specifically a fog glow with high quality. Now I'm going to mute the glare because by default the lens distortion doesn't do anything so I can just leave that but the glare does and I don't want that right off the bat because I might not use it so I'm just going to keep that muted. Now of course you would want to go into file and user preferences and you'd want to add all your add-ons that you typically use. So I'm going to put this down, and then I might bring in, I press N to bring in this window over here. Last but not least, I would add in an empty plane axis, and I would name that camera FOV. And I, I basically use that to control the field of view of my camera. So I'll select the camera on this little camera tab right here, focus on the camera FOV. That way if I want to use field of view, I can just hop right into there, and then size, I can put in my size. Once I'm happy with everything, and of course, everything you do saves, it, this exact file will start up every time. So I might want to select the cube to end, because usually the cube, if I want to delete it, I can just press X right away. I don't have to click the cube. Once again, we'll head up to File, Save Startup File. And if you ever want to get the factory settings back, just press this, Load Factory Settings. This won't save over your startup file, so you're good in that respect, just if you want to go back and look at something. For example, that's what I use to make my tutorials, so that way I'm starting with a blank slate that everybody has. So yeah guys, that's it for me. If you do anything differently than I do, I'd love to read what you do, because like I said, you don't really ever see people discussing this. I hope you learned something, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask, and I'll see you next time. That was nice. That was good.